been uh, out of the RV for about six weeks, as you saw, because I went to the United Kingdom. And um, yeah, and I wasn't in it for a bit before that. I don't know, basically I've been out of it on and off. But I've been back in it for about a month. Then I was out of it for six weeks. Uh, back in it a month. Oh, sorry, this is Julie, if you remember. She's, uh, uh, she's got cat ears. Hopefully this isn't gateway to furry, but I don't know, maybe just a face. But uh, anyway, uh, there's a few things that are messed up on it, but I was busy messing with the show, so I never got around to doing it. I know I hadn't done videos in a while, but uh, that's because I didn't feel like it. But, uh, but there's a lot of things i got to fix on it now, and what I'm doing today is not actually fixing any of those things, but just making a big list of things that I need to fix. So what you're going to do, this video today is called How to Make a List. I'm not just any sort of list maker. You might think like, oh, anyone could just make a list. But I used to work for a general contractor, and my first job was punch list guy. So I had to know how to go in and make an accurate list of things in order to send the subcontractors. Impressive, huh? Yeah. And uh, But anyway, so you're going to see uh, me making a list but not actually fix anything. So, But the list will lead to other videos. So you might think like on that list you're like, wow, i got to do that too. And then you'll be like, wow, I can just wait until that video comes out. It's basically a sneak peek of jobs we're going to do. So how about that? All right? Let's get started. All right, in order to make a list, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pen. Very good. Uh, and make an accurate punch list. Whether you're doing this in a house or apartment or anything, you want to start. Uh, I always start kind of top down. I'm going to go top to the front on back from the roof and then work my way down the RV, do the exterior first, and then do the interior. So uh, if you could start on the for me, if you could open that notebook. Begin. Oh my god. So first off, we're going to have right roof. Front. Uh, I'm going to go up on the roof. All right, Julia, as I yell stuff out, write it down, okay? Okay. Remove TV antenna. If you're looking at right here, uh, this TV antenna is actually in my way. Um, we discussed this air conditioner cover coming off when I went to Standing Rock. But also this air conditioner doesn't work anyway. So I'm actually going to take this whole thing off. Remove air conditioner. Not to get off topic, but I have these three solar panels. And I have one, those are all 50 watts. And I got 150 water that's going to go across here where this actually is. I'm going to patch this hole where the air conditioner is and just put another uh, solar panel there. Spray paint vent covers. These right here when the lights are on these actually glow and since I like to be incognito if these were spray painted black you're not going to see through them. I've patched this 15 times but I got some fancy paint and I do have little water problems back here so I'm going to patch that. Paint roof stuff on back of roof. Alright, right exterior front. Uh, put a space between so we're in a new no, no we're in another section and just with the same with any area like you're doing a book you want to start from the top and work your way down um, replace driver side windshield replace passenger side wiper it's a snake Water in headlights. All right, Julia, right driver's side exterior. See, these little guys where the screw holes are uh, are causing me problems. These are going to go, they're all falling out one at a time. So I'm going to replace those with bigger screws. Replace and seal all screws at top rail. Reseal top rail at rear. Reseal back rail. Is my water heater on fire? I don't know why that keeps happening. These are from a previous video, which I'll post below. Uh, actually held up really, really well. Gray trim is janky. Alright, the back seem to be okay, but it's always the same thing with this side. 
uh, top seat, uh, but front or exterior passenger side. Uh, seal top rail. Uh, if you guys remember, I also lost the awning at the same time I lost the uh, air conditioner at the top. But uh, I'm not going to replace that till next spring, but I'm still going to put it on the list. Place awning. Make fridge cover look less hillbilly. Reseal. Seal at rusted screws. You see these dudes kind of all over the place, and if it's rusty, that means that screw can rust out completely, and that can be a place where water can get in. Boop, 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 boop. All right, uh, underneath this thing has got a lot of problems that I've been putting off and I need to address as well. So right, exterior and bottom. Um, well, it's only really got one problem, and that problem is rust. If you can see all my... That's not good. Uh, it's just wired on there at the moment, so I need to fix that before it falls off completely. Um, a lot of that kind of stuff I need to re-secure. Uh, and just kind of spray as much as I can down here with primer or something to kind of keep it before winter time comes. And maybe I can get a couple more years out of the bottom of this thing before it completely collapses on me. So, repair muffler. Uh, repair uh, generator muffler. If I do get the generator working again, it would be nice to have a muffler so it's not blowing the exhaust back into the cab. Repair poop tank cover. Also right, Dad is getting fat. Oh, you're already in here. Uh, Interior-wise, uh, a lot of it is not must-do things, but it's things I've been wanting to do for livability and all that. But same thing, we'll start from the front, top, and then you do break it off into different areas as though they're rooms, and also it's a more manageable list. Starting right, at the top, repair headliner. Uh, while I was gone, a lot of these, uh, the humidity in here over August sort of ate up this headliner quite a bit. And uh, I'm using contact glue, and it held it up a little bit, but... I want it to look exactly like the factory did, so I'm going to repair that. Uh, that's one of my first videos, but I'll link that below as well. I put this thing in, but it's not really very... I gotta take the screws out if I ever want to open it, so I want to make this like... So make, put, make other door hinged. Put add hinge at Captain America. Alright? And the other thing uh, I need to do is these curtains work well. But when the lights are on at night, you can see the light through those. And uh, as I like to be sneaky, I want to take these and either add blackout curtains in front of them or totally re-sew these with dark, heavy black curtains. So that one, when I shut them, I'm more incognito. So right, uh, blackout curtains at windshield. Um, I've been using this uh, kind of old southwestern blanket here, but I'm going to buy another one from the same store I got this one. And I'm going to reupholster this couch. That's my plan is to kind of basically take two of these blankets. I don't know, whatever. I'll do that, I'll do it. But, uh, right, reupholster couch. Li you're at living room? Reupholster couch. Uh, the living room I'm fairly pleased with. I really like these kind of old 80s looking curtains here. So those things, uh, those are definitely going to stay. But I do want to add behind them, same thing with the other ones, some uh, black fabric. If I can do it tight enough that you can't see it from the inside, from the outside it looks all right. So that way when I got the lights on at night, can't see anything. Replace this disgusting carpet. That's the other thing I'd like to do. Good job. Uh, the kitchen, I have a lot of things I would like to do to this place. Um, as with any home, the kitchen's where you spend most of your time. Uh, with this RV, this kitchen is also my daughter's bedroom. So there's a few things I want to do here. Um, top wise, not much, uh, but start, I want to paint these cabinets. I'm going to paint these, I want to paint these white, but the living room not, so it kind of differentiates them a little bit. A little design feature there, make the place look bigger. I have wallpaper for the back wall, put wallpaper wall. Right, kill this fly. Here, or build shelves at microwave. Uh, this guy took the microwave out, one it just kind of banged and clanged around, and uh, that, I never used the microwave, but... Believe it or not, this actually just whole system I have right here has worked alright. But I want to kind of make something I can either slide out or have some shelves that 
pots specifically fit in. Uh, working my way down again top to bottom. Uh, I never use this window. So I'm going to come across here and cover the whole back and make sort of a backsplash thing I can hang stuff off of. We'll get one of those magnet knife operations. Uh, lock over window. Uh, I do really like this countertop. Stove's a bit gross, so I was going to sand it down and get some uh, high temp appliance white paint. Again, paint cabinets. Clear out, organize. You getting all this stuff? Clean hood. Hello. Bathroom. Repair ceiling light. Repair, replace headliner. I might just totally replace that. I have a kind of a little plan there with some thin pieces of wood to go across, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Remove mirror and block window. What my plan is here is uh, I'm going to take this guy, put one solid piece of plywood all the way across the back, put this mirror on top of it and the light out so that we can put a shelf here. It's going to never use this window. Uh, this countertop, uh, again, is fine. The sink I don't like, but they have some plastic paint. I might paint it white. White. Or find a different size sink. Sorry. Uh, paint sink. This right here just opens up to the hot or the water heater and uh, that I might remove just to you kind of see everything and you get a little more room in here. It doesn't need to be there. Remove wood by water heater. This guy's not good. Repair, replace plywood at, at shower. Remove Disgusting ass carpet. That white that's powder. I like to powder my balls. It's summertime. It's hot. Bedroom, please excuse the disgustingness of this. Normally I'd clean it up before I had guests, but I just didn't I don't respect you, I guess. Bedroom. Repair headliner. This is what happens with what is outside, this sort of disgustingness. Replace wall. At driver's side window. Remove curtains and blinds. Paint cabinets. Wallpaper. Replace blinds. Replace, see this disc little fabric thing here? I want something else there and they got rusty the bolts on there are rusted so I replace that uh, replace headboard and disgusting carpet which you can't see um, that's pretty much it you just watched a video on work that I'm not doing uh, but I uh, will do so th those are the things of the plan so I'm gonna just take that big list I'm gonna write it up prioritize it uh, basically the exterior stuff's priority and then uh, just start knocking it out one piece at a time yeah, some good list writing. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, it's been a while, but uh, thanks for stopping by, and that's what we have coming up on the uh, on this channel.